Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the React tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss on props validation in React. So before we start with this video, I would like to discuss something which we have discussed in the previous video. So in the previous video, we have discussed water props. What is the necessity of props in the light of React? What are default props? And how we can utilize props to pass data from parent component to the child component, okay? So in today's video, we are going to discuss on props validation. So props validation in React. TypeScript provides interfaces which can help us to enforce validation in props. But even if we are not using TypeScript, React also provides us with some built-in type checking abilities. We can assign prop types property with the component to check the type of props received. By mistake, if some props are not using their correct types, console warnings will be displayed. So in this video, we are going to discuss how we can use prop types which is given by React to validate props while passing data from parent component to the child component. You might say that we can implement the same using interfaces in TypeScript or types in TypeScript, but that is not our main concern here. Because TypeScript, as I have already told, is a superset of JavaScript language that helps us to define type for variables such that we don't run into any coding error while making an application. But apart from that also, if we are not using TypeScript, we can still use prop types which is provided by React to validate props, okay? So let's see how we can implement it. In the previous video, you have seen we have created a class component name as home page and in that class component we have received some data first name and last name from the parent component and we have displayed the same on the browser okay in the parent app.tsx we have passed first name as john last name as doe and this data is received in the child component we have destructured it over here and then we have utilized it on the browser okay now, it might be possible that the data which is passed from here is not of the same type as it is required in the child component. So though our interface comes to the rescue, but still React in build provides the prop types which can be utilized to validate. Okay, now how do we do that in the class component? So first of all, we have to import prop types from prop types okay so sometimes you might face issue of prop types not being available to you so you might consider installing it because after react version 15 uh, these prop types became a separate package which we can utilize so yes you can install it separately if you don't find it right over here otherwise you can directly make use of it as i have done okay now within this class we have to define static prop types and then we will define first name as prop types dot string and we will define the last name as prop types dot string so what it will do when we pass any prop to this home page component this validation will be implemented on the data received so if suppose the last name is not of type string and of type something else this will show an error message on the browser console okay so let's run our application and check what we have done So it tells us we have done a typo in a static class property declaration. So let's check where we have made any mistake. So now you see it's running well. So this prop types T should have been capital by mistake I wrote it small. So it's all right. If we inspect and go to the browser console, see there is no issue, but now suppose from string I make it number and now see what happens 
it shows us a warning that failed prop type invalid prop last name of type string supplied to home page expected number so as we have written here last name should be of type number it says that you have passed a data type of string to this last name variable and we expected a number okay so if i rectify it again you will see the error vanishes okay so this is how we can implement props validation using prop types in class component okay now we are going to learn how we can do the exact same thing in functional components so for functional components i will just remove this part and then i will create const home page and this will return this div looks good and now we have to pass the data like what it should receive as props for it should receive first name and last name which is of type user as props okay so this is a very simple example of a function component as we have already seen in my previous videos so now you might ask how here we define the prop types okay so here after the function component you have to write the name of the component dot prop types and here you will define the exact same thing which we have done within the class component in the previous example so here you will write first name as prop types dot string and last name as prop types dot string that's it so in the class component we provide a static variable prop types and define it and in the function components we define it outside the function like first we write the name of the function component dot prop types and then we define the validations okay now let's run the terminal and check if we are doing good so npm start this will start our application and let's see if we have done the work correctly so yes we can see welcome john do on the console there is no error message now if i replace string with a number see instantly you will see again that same warning that we expected a type number but received a type of string okay so if i rectify this again so this will vanish see it has vanished okay so this is how we implement props validation in both function components and in class components okay so this is all for this video i hope you have found this video informative in case you like this video feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel we are going to bring up more videos in the upcoming future and if you have any queries doubts or feedbacks you can feel free to post them in the comment section we are going to reply and if you have anything to communicate with us you can also use the comment section for that so thank you for now see you in the next video bye